فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد We're going to carry on the شرح of the kitab دفع إيهام للضراب عن آيات الكتاب written by الشيخ محمد الأمين ابن محمد المختار ابن عبد القادر الجكني الشنقيطي رحمه الله تعالى We've taken previously four verses which seem to have contradiction, apparent contradiction to some people. But we proved that there is no contradiction in them. And so inshallah we're going to move on to the fifth one inshallah ta'ala. And it is the statement of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala قوله تعالى ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم which is the seventh verse in Surah Al-Baqarah. Al-Shaykh Al-Allama Muhammad Al-Amin Al-Shanqiti Rahimahullah says, هذه الآية, this verse, تدلو, it shows, بظاهرها, from the apparent, على أنهم مجبورون. When we look at this ayah from the apparent, which it means Allah sealed their hearts. Khatam Allah ala qulubihim. Allah sealed their hearts. Wa ala sam'ihim and their hearings. So Allah sealed their hearts. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He also sealed their hearings. So these, this ayah shows from the apparent that they are majboorun. Majboor means a person who is under um, uh, duress or more like he's forced into something. He has no choice. He's been stripped from his uh, free will. That's what it shows. لِأَنَّ The Sheikh says, Muhammad Shanqiti, لِأَنَّ مَنْ خُتِمَ عَلَىٰ قَلْبِهِ Because the one whose heart has been sealed. وَجُعِلَتِ الْغِشَاوَةُ عَلَىٰ بَصَرِهِ And Allah placed a veil on his eyes for him to see. So the one whose heart has been sealed and his eyes have be, uh, has been veiled. سُورِبَتْ مِنْهُ الْقُدْرَةَ عَلَىٰ الْإِيمَانِ what has been taken from him or stripped from him is the ability in believing. So he's, he's been, this, the, the ability and the, uh, of believing is being stripped from him. وَقَدْ جَاءَ فِي آيَاتٍ أُخَرْ There has come, so this person is forced now, he has no choice. He's just really um, uh, the outcome of the actions of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. In other words, that's what comes out of this. It's a problem. But there are other verses, which again are the verses that seem to be contradicting this verse, which is that وَقَدْ جَاءَ فِي آيَاتٍ أُخَرْ مَا يَدُلُّ عَلَىٰ أَنَّ كُفْرَهُمْ وَاقِعٌ بِمَشِيئَتِهِمْ وَإِرَادَتِهِمْ But then we have other verses that state they have fallen into disbelief and they have fallen into uh, misguidance due to their own free will and their own want. As Allah wa Taala said, فَاسْتَحَبُّ الْعَمَى عَلَى الْهُدَى They chose blindness over guidance. وَكَقَوْلِهِ تَعَالَىٰ أَنَّ اللَّهُ أُوْسُوْ سَدْ أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ اشْتَرَوُوا الضَّلَالَةَ بِالْهُدَىٰ وَالْعَذَابَ بِالْمَغْفِرَةَ They are the ones who gave, 
who chose misguidance over guidance. They brought misguidance over guidance. They gave precedence to misguidance over guidance and the punishment over the forgiveness. And also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَكْفُرْ Whoever wills and wants, let him believe. And whoever wills and wants, let him disbelieve. And also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says, ذَلِكَ بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ Allah says to the disbelievers, and this is something your own hands have put forward. So it's something they've done with their own wills. Also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, لَبِئْسَ مَا قَدَّمَتْ لَهُمْ أَنفُسُهُمْ Evil is what their hands have put forward for them. So all of these verses show that what's happening to them and what's taking place is due to their actions. It is due to their it is due to their actions and what they have put forward. But the previous verse that we took, which is Khatam Allahu ala qulubihim wa ala sam'ihim, that from the Zahir it showed what? That they are they are not, uh, it's not their own will, it's not their freedom of choice or choosing, it's something that they are forced into. So how do we reconcile between the two? This is the point that's needed now. This answer, inshallah ta'ala, that the shaykh is going to give is a summary, is a khulasa, is a quick and an uh, answer. But if you really want to go in and find out more and, and research this issue more, because this issue goes back to the issue of al-qada and qadar. And it connects to that. And I believe a student of knowledge should definitely go and research it even more. I advise you go to the kitab Shifa'ul Alil fi Masail al Qadai wal Qadari wal Hikmati wal Ta'alil, written by a Shaykh al Imam Ibn al Qayyim al Jawziya rahimahullah. Go to his book and you'll find him extensively speaking about these particular verses and how they can be reconciled. And he also speaks about the issue of the Qadr of Allah wa ta'ala and Allah's wisdoms and reasons why he does things. So this book is something a person should read into. And also, Ibn al-Qayyim al jawziya rahimahullah, elaborates on this particular apparent contradiction more in details in his other good book, Madarij uh, al-Salikin. In his other book, Madarij al-Salikin, which is a sharah of Manaru, uh, ma, 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 it's a sharah of Madarij al-Salikin, is a sharah of the kitab, min, uh, the kitab Manaj, uh, uh, Ismail al-Harawi's kitab. What was it called? Manazil, Manazil al-Sairin. Naam, that's it. The kitab Madarij al-Salikin is a sharah of the kitab Mana, Manazil al-Salikin. Uh, no, 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 He's explaining that book. Ibn al Qayyim, Rahimahullah Ta'ala. So, you, those two books you can go to, and inshaAllah Ta'ala, you will find, um, you will find, bi'idhni Allahi Kareem, a more extensive, more detailed explanation. As for here, we're going to give you a khulas, a summary from the kalam of Shaykh Muhammad Amin al-Shaqiti. He says, well, jawabu, the response to this issue is, This concealing, this veil uh, that's placed on these disbelievers. That which is placed on their hearings and their eyesights and their hearts. You see, all of that has been done. So, the veiling and this the sealing that's being done that you find that you find which is done to their hearings to their seeing and also to their hearts all of it min Allah is a punishment from Allah lahum for them so it's a punishment from Allah wa ta'ala towards them and the reason why Allah wa ta'ala is punishing them is 
the Sheikh is going to explain to us. من الله لهم على مبادرتهم للكفر وتكذيب الرسل باختيارهم ومشيئتهم. The reason why Allah Tabarak wa Taala is punishing them for is them hastening to, them rushing to, what? للكفر disbelieving وتكذيب الرسل disbelieving the messengers. With they the what they're the ones. Who chose to disbelieve in the prophets? They hastened to that as soon as the messenger came out, and every messenger, as soon as they came out and they told their people, "Abdullah, worship Allah, Malakum min ilahin ghairu." You have no ilah other than Him. Worship Him, Subhanahu wa Taala. Straight away, without thinking, without assessing the situation, without having a dialogue with that prophet or that messenger. They hasten straight away to disbelieving in the messenger and accusing him of that which he's freed from. When they done that with their own will and they did that with their own will and their own want, then Allah punished them subhanahu wa ta'ala by sealing their hearts and their ears and their eyesights from seeing the truth. فَعَقَبَهُمُ اللَّهُ Allah punished them بِعَدَمِ تَوْفِيقِ Allah, He punished them by not allowing the guidance to enter them. Jaza'an wifaqa. And this was in response to the action that they just done. They done. And Allah, He says, كَمَا بَيَّنَهُ تَعَلَى بِقَوْلِهِ As Allah explained in His statement, بَلْ طَبَعَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهَا بِكُفْرِهِمْ Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, He sealed their, their hearts. بكفرهم because of their كفر لأن باء هي is باء سببية بسبب كفرهم because of their disbelief that they hastened to and they came with straight away because of that Allah تبارك وتعالى he sealed their hearts also Allah تبارك وتعالى says ذلك بأنهم آمنوا ثم كفروا فطبع على قلوبهم Allah says here ذلك and the reason for this is because they believed and then they chose to disbelieve. So their hearts got sealed. There were people who were playing around. They were not taking the religion of Allah and the messengers too. They weren't taking them serious. Also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, He says, And Allah says, We turned the hearts and their eyesights from the truth. Just like they didn't believe in it when it first came to them. Also Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala He says, فَلَمَّا زَاغُوا When they deviated, أَزَاغَ اللَّهُ قُلُوبَهُمْ Allah turned and their hearts away. Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. وَقَوْلِهِ And also the statement of Allah, فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضْ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضْ In their hearts is Illness. Then Allah increased them in illness. So they had to come with the illness them, them, themselves first. And they had to hasten to that illness which is kufr and nifaq and hypocrisy and disbelief. Once they came with that, then Allah concealed their hearts. He sealed their hearts. Also Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he brings another verse to support this which is Barrana ala qulubihim ma kanu yaksibun. Rana means their heart became darkened. And tainted from the sins that they came with. Because of the act that they came with. So the heart got affected, that it got sealed because of the actions and the statement and the things that they put forward. And the Shaykh went on to say, إِلَىٰ غَيْرِ ذَلِكَ مِنَ الْآيَاتِ And many other ayats that are like this. So, what we now come to know is that. The sealing of the hearts of the disbelievers and their eyes and their ears from taking the truth is because of what? What's the reason? Is it because Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is oppressing them and just chose to make them deaf, dumb and blind and dumb? Or did He subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all send them a messenger or a person who's calling them to the religion and then they out of arrogance and stubbornness 
chose to insult and name calling. And then Allah wa ta'ala sealed their hearts. The second one is what, what happened. So inshallah ta'ala, I hope it's now clear. And now you understand better. Uh, anything which I have said that was wrong, فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي وَمِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ وَاللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ بَرِيْعَانِ مِنْ Anything which I have said that was wrong is from me and shaytan and Allah and his message are free from it. سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ بِحَمْدِكَ أَشْهَدُ أَلَّا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ أَسْتَغْفِرُكَ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْهِ